Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at some more Bully figures, as you guys seem to be enjoying the Bully reviews, which have kind of pushed me into buying more of the Bully figures. I've wanted to buy them for a very long time, but I just never really had the motivation to. I consistently kind of skipped them and looked past them, but as uh, the reviews of these have gone on, I've actually started to become a little bit more fond of the figures. So there were like three different versions of these same figures. There are the smaller minis, which we have reviewed. Then there were the articulated versions, which we have also recently reviewed. The only one left was this series of larger figures, which don't have articulation. They're just stagnant figures, but they're like the same sculpts as some of the other ones but now at a much larger size. Unfortunately, there are only four figures in this larger set, but I thought, what the heck, I might as well order them and then take a look at them with you guys. So, right now we only have a big box sitting here before us, so let's pop this box open and we'll take a look at which species are included. So we have what Boley calls an Ornithomimus, but again, looks to me more like a raptor minus a sickle claw than an ornithomimus. Like, it doesn't look like an ornithomimus at all. But we've also got the Diplodocus. But what's really weird about this Diplodocus is I actually have reviewed this exact Diplodocus. And I'd stated this in the smaller... Boy, my camera didn't want to work right there and move over. I've stated this in the smaller figure review that I had already reviewed a larger version of this sculpt. But this is like literally the exact figure that I had reviewed from a company called Gosnell. The same paint scheme and everything. So that's very weird. And I don't know if Gosnell and uh, Boley are somehow connected or exactly how that works. But this figure, again, I've not only reviewed here on the channel in the past, but I've also repainted in the past on this channel to show off how nice the actual sculpt is. So it is a pretty nice figure worth picking up, but the paint job they've given it here isn't very good we also have the triceratops which <sighs> boy i'm not too sure about that one it looked kind of cool in the promotional images on amazon but here in person not so nice and then the final one is the tyrannosaurus rex and i'm not gonna lie to you guys these figures honestly feel like they have a bit of a drop in quality compared to the articulated versions. Like the minis were pretty nice, but I feel like the best ones were the articulated versions. And these ones here are actually a uh, soft squishy feel. Like you can see they're kind of like Recur or like the Wildlife Wow figures, but they're not as nice as Recur or Wildlife Wow figures. And which is weird that the smaller versions had kind of muted detail the larger versions have kind of muted detail, but then the uh, articulated, like, mid-sized ones had, like, beautiful detail. I don't know. I can't make sense of it. And this one specifically, like, the Rex is a big letdown for me because the images on Amazon made it look so much nicer than this one looks. Like, the paintwork compared to the promotional images is really quite different on this one compared to what I saw on Amazon. You can see from this image what it looked like. Like, specifically, the brown feathering I thought looked really nice on this version on Amazon. And then we're left with this one here in person. And what's really weird about this also is, again, from the articulated figures, it looks like they honestly almost copied the paint scheme of their Mosasaurus here with this Rex. Like, it's very similar. The tones of the overall body color are pretty much identical. And the only difference is, as opposed to, like, this blue stripe, we have, like, a white... Actually, it's almost like a light blue... Uh, bordering on a white stripe that runs down the course of the Tyrannosaurus. So that's kind of weird as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at all of these right now. So the very first figure we have here is the Diplodocus, and I really don't feel the need to review this one like at all because I have, again, reviewed the figure in the past. So if you would like to see the review of this one specifically, I will include a link in the description to my original review of this Gosnell uh, Diplodocus, who is now released in the Bully set. The only thing I think the eye looks a little bit more nice on this one compared to the Gosnell version, but the sculpt, again, is exactly the same, and even the paint looks to be the same as the previous version. I will say that it is a beautifully sculpted Diplodocus, so that is a plus, but the paintwork, just like the first time around, is really ugly, and I don't like it any better this time around. Now, the Triceratops, 
again all of these are actually the same sculpts as the previous versions that we've reviewed now this is the third time but just at a different size so we don't really need to go over too much as far as the detailing goes we just basically need to look at what's different between these and the previous versions and that would be mostly of course the size but also the paint application and you can see that the face of the triceratops does look pretty nice honestly like there's some nice variation of color included i like that we have like this black and then the red and how they kind of like transition back and forth all throughout the course of the figure i like it really nicely you know elaborating the mouth area here we have a nice light kind of an off white for the mouth but there's even like a slight hint of gray that runs along the beak the detail though you can see actually first of all we have some paint chips here at the tip of the beak for no reason whatsoever but you can see that the detailing is present but it's really muted on the beak and that's the same thing that we see pretty much for the majority of the figure like as we move through here you could see that there is detail on there like up here in the frill you could see some of the scale detail and stuff but it's just super muted and another thing that i don't like that bully seems to really enjoy is the glossy look that they give their figures and you can see that it looks super glossy everywhere and i really really don't like that glossy look but you can see that we have again white painted for the horns right here which are just unreasonably straight up out of the head of our triceratops the eye paint is painted with a yellow given a black eye and then a white spot on the eye not very good as far as that goes you can see it's really sloppily done it almost looks like some kind of a weird egg cooking as it's just kind of like very inconsistent as far as the way it's placed but you do have some like variations of browns and stuff sneaking through and some variations of blacks here and there they did not bother to paint these spikes that run along the frill at all they just did not care about that at all they did give a little bit of like a shading here to the lower part of the horns which looks okay once we move past that point the majority of the body is an orange color and it is just completely littered with pink spots and i don't have a clue why this is another figure that i felt like looked a little nicer on the promotional images i wasn't super sold on the initial prototype images or anything like that this definitely wasn't one of my most anticipated figures from this set but I felt like it did look at least a little better, but doesn't look so great here. You can see a very large seam running down the course of the midsection of the Triceratops, but seams, again, aren't really ever anything that really bothers me too much. And again, with these soft, squishy feel figures, I always expect seams like that. The only other color variation that we have would be down here on the feet, where it randomly turns into white, and then we have gray nails for the feet. The white makes the figure look even stranger it almost looks like he took his skin off and now his socks are showing and i guess by skin i mean his shoes but dinosaurs don't wear shoes but regardless it certainly looks like he's wearing socks down here there's not really too much going on on the underside no real paint work the pink spots run all the way out here onto the tail and stuff so pretty ugly overall as far as this triceratops goes definitely don't like him i wasn't really a big fan of the sculpt initially don't like it any better in this larger kind of muted version but uh i really really don't like the paint application or paint scheme of this one we do have some paint on the inside of the mouth which i didn't point out we have some pink in there but that even that's a little sloppy you can see it's run out here under the lower part of the beak but the triceratops is not so good then we have the ornithomimus in quotation marks and again it's another figure where the paint application on the prototype looked far better than what we actually get here but I will say that they did at least try a little bit with this one because you can see like with these spots throughout the course of the body, there's areas where it becomes like a really dark brown and then other areas where it transitions to a lighter brown. So there's a little bit of difference and I like how it plays off of the coloration of the dinosaur with that yellowish coloration for the majority of the body. Actually, it's more like a yellow bordering on an orange, but it looks pretty cool as far as the darker color playing off of the lighter color. And definitely is far more appealing than what we had seen on that triceratops you can see the inside of the mouth is painted with a pinkish color and the teeth as well are painted they look pretty good they don't appear to be too sloppy or anything like that maybe you know it actually looks pretty good on the inside of the mouth for the most part the teeth are really tiny though you almost don't even pick up on just how small they are until you get nice and close and look at them you can see that the face does have some pretty decent detail throughout a little bit more vibrant than what we saw on the triceratops which is certainly a plus but again the eye just looks like an egg or something like that but uh really sloppily painted like they just did not care at all when it comes to the colorations 
of the eyes of these figures. The really kind of fluffy feathers, though, looks really neat on this one. I love the way that the sculpt is on this. I just wish they would have given it a sickle claw and called it a raptor of some kind as opposed to an ornithomimus, which it does not look like at all. You have the hands right here, which, you know, have some decent detail to them, but they're just ridiculously oversized, and as are the feet. They are just huge, like ugly huge. You can see that it transitions, though, to a really dark coloration for the feet, and we have some really nicely painted nails here with a gray. Uh, we do have the dew claw back here, also painted with a gray. Yet again, there's no real color variation anywhere else going on for the figure. Almost appears as though we have like an attempt at a cloaca right there, but it's not placed in the right spot, which is kind of silly. But uh, the sculpt is okay as far as like a raptorish type of a figure goes. The paint is also okay, but not really that great. I will say that the detail definitely looks a little nicer on this one. The sculpt and everything has some more vibrant detail than what we saw in the Triceratops, and the paintwork, I think, looks a little bit better, but the sculpt overall just isn't really that great. The detailing actually under here is really quite nicely done. Like, that's really vibrant scale detail here on the underside of the dinosaur, but the figure overall isn't really that great and certainly not worth purchasing this set just for this one whatever this is supposed to be and then the final one is the tyrannosaurus and we have a slightly feathered rex with a slightly scaly version although there isn't any scales to be found on this tyrannosaurus at all it looks like maybe very muted scale detail but not really. Again, this is one of the downsides, I would say, of these bigger figures, is that the scale detail just doesn't pop and uh, is very muted for the most part, unlike the medium-sized figures where they looked a lot better. Yet again, the eye is painted exactly the same as all of the others. Like, they just did not show any effort on these figures as far as difference goes, because the eyes are all exactly the same, and they're all really sloppily painted. The teeth are also just massive on this. When we complain about the size of the teeth of some Schleich figures, this is far and away way worse and just gives the figure a very cheap feel and an ugly look overall. You can see the teeth on the inside of the mouth aren't painted, which that doesn't really bother me so much sometimes. Like, Recur usually doesn't paint the insides of the teeth of their figures either, and that doesn't bother me, but the teeth are just so hideous to begin with. It would have been nice to have at least some paintwork in there just to kind of make up for how ugly they look, but I don't think there's honestly any way of saving that. You can see the tongue inside the mouth is all right looking, and we have yet again a pinkish coloration on the inside of the mouth. That's another thing, is that the insides of the mouths of the figures have all been the exact same color. No difference there. And then we have like this really dark, like bluish gray color for the majority of the figure, and that's really about it. There's not anything else going on color-wise for the figure, aside from this stripe that runs down the side of the dinosaur, and also almost looks just like the Diplodocus which has a very similar look to the paint scheme of that as well. And the stripe runs all the way out to the tail. And then the coloration here of the feet is slightly different as we have kind of like a light gray. And then we have black nails. The feet look hideous on this Rex. It looks like he's got an infection on his toe here. And it's all swollen. Same for that one over there. And we don't have any nail paint for the fingers at all. So this is definitely not a good Rex. It looks okay from afar, but... Up close, you can really see it's not very good. It would be potentially fun to repaint. You could make it look a bit nicer and uh, look a little bit better, but the teeth are just so ugly. I feel like you would have to cut the teeth out of the mouth altogether and then re-sculpt in new teeth for this to even give you a reason to want to repaint it. We do have some slight browns, like a light brown here, but then there's nothing. Like, it's only on the lower jaw. It doesn't run to the underside of the Rex at all. So... This is definitely a letdown of a set and not even remotely close to what I thought I was going to get. So I'm not going to measure each and every figure. I'll hold the tape over here just so you can give a pretty good idea of what the size of them are. Like, it's definitely a, a good set as far as the size department goes. Like, they're very large figures. For instance, if I put this down and actually turn the camera to show you, if we were to measure the Diplodocus, like the Diplodocus alone is a solid 19 and a half inches or 50 centimeters so that is 
a really long figure. So we do have some good size for the figures, even if they are overhaul a pretty big letdown. They do at least sport a pretty impressive size, and they were actually thirty bucks. So thirty dollars for four big figures like this is a pretty good deal even if the figures themselves are kind of ugly. But to show you again the size for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon in there hiding amongst these massive bully figures. And you can see in comparison to these guys that exactly as I was saying, they do sport a pretty big size. So although they're certainly not the best dinosaur figures in the world, and the majority of them are pretty ugly, they do at least have a pretty big size to kind of make up for the shortcomings that they have elsewhere. And hopefully these figures here in comparison will help to show you that. So this set of four Bowley figures is not the best set by any means from Bowley. They are nicer than what you would probably expect if you hadn't seen any prior Bowley figure reviews. But considering we have reviewed the two other sets prior to this, uh, they're definitely a letdown because I kind of expected them to be really nice here in hand and the promo images on Amazon also led me to believe that they would be really nice here in hand and they just really are not. It's sad that they turned out so bad and sometimes you know you get the soft squishy feel figures like this which end up being really nice so just knowing that they were kind of like that soft squishy feel or at least having a hunch that they were when they were on their way did not instantly make me feel like there would be a decline in quality like we have i still expected them to be nicer after the last few sets were pretty darn nice but unfortunately that is not the case and they do suffer greatly from a lack of quality the triceratops of course was never the best sculpt to begin with it's always kind of been like a goofy looking version of a triceratops with each review i've done of that specific figure but here in person with this larger one, it's the ugliest I think that it's ever been. It has a very striking look, I will say that, considering its usage of pinks throughout. But it's not really striking in a good way. It's just like striking where it'll draw people in and say, what is wrong with this figure? But the sculpt isn't really that great. It's very muted detail-wise, and the paint also isn't very good. The paint scheme is just, in my opinion, ugly, and the eye paint of all of these figures is hideous so not so good as far as the triceratops goes the diplodocus is a beautiful sculpt and the detail actually looks really nice on this diplodocus it might actually look even nicer than the gosnell version i reviewed before like it's really vibrant which is something you don't see on the majority of these figures because most of them look pretty bad detail wise but this diplodocus is not bad by any means it looks great sculpt wise, but the paint, eh, it's, it, it's passable. We'll put it that way. But personally, I don't like it. Hence the reason I repainted it originally when I had purchased the Gosnell version. And it's not really that appealing here either. Definitely could use a repaint, but certainly worth picking up just to have a very good sizable Diplodocus. We also have the, in quotation marks, Ornithomimus, which looks to me to be more of like a raptor, which also has some pretty decent detail as far as like how vibrant and how nicely it pops. But the figure overall is kind of ugly and uh, it just looks weird in pretty much every area you look at it. Like the hands are gigantic, the feet are gigantic, the face just has kind of a derpy look to it. And the paintwork, although kind of okay, isn't really that great either so there's not really too much here to save this figure the only good thing i guess is that with those giant feet he doesn't have any chance probably of falling unless you have an earthquake but he's also not very good and then the rex which was the one i was most excited about is also a giant letdown because the sculpt is very very muted detail wise like potentially the worst of all as far as the muted detail Eh, the Triceratops might be a little worse, but it's not very good on this Rex, and the paintwork on the original prototype that I had seen had me pretty hyped for this. I thought it was going to be a pretty darn nice looking feathered, well, semi-feathered Tyrannosaurus when it arrived, and I was entirely misled because the paintwork that we get is really crummy and just does not do the figure justice, and of course the teeth are ugly, and the fact that the upsized version of this has drowned out most of the detail is just pretty much like the nail in the coffin for this Tyrannosaurus. So although I have definitely recommended picking up some of these Bowley sets in the past, 
I don't recommend picking this set up unless you're going to buy them for like some fun repaint projects. Then it's pretty cool because you can get big figures to repaint for $30. You know, that's not that bad of a deal. But if you're looking to add some quality dinosaur figures to your collection, I would recommend looking elsewhere because these are not your guys. One way or another, though, I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase these on Amazon if you are interested. So check that link. Maybe buy yourself some of these figures and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.